These are the times now, people. Okay? These are the times we will all remember. Were you there? What did you do? Because you're telling the real story, where does it leave them to go? Yeah, but here's the point. It's, I, don't, I don't even get into that game. I'm just living my life, man. It's not, it's something that... Uh, Take responsibility for what you want to know. Don't say what other people. This is a conversation that I'm having with you right you're now. You're right. Okay, so I'm just telling you right now, okay? Just put your manners back in. Yeah, I keep things pretty calm. I keep things, nothing unusual. The usual day. And this opened the door for me to investigate every aspect of film production. Over the years, Tom Cruise has been a religious follower of Scientology, praising the religion and even crediting his success and life to them. And I've been a uh, Scientologist for over 30 years, yeah. and um, it's something that, as, as you know, without it, uh, I wouldn't be where I am. Yeah. You know? So it's a beautiful religion. And However, it is being alleged that while Tom Cruise is one of the voices and faces of the religion, he actually no longer wants to associate himself with the church, but is still there because they don't want to let him go. There have been theories that Tom Cruise is forced to remain in Scientology. The church itself is rumored to take secrets from its followers and use them as weapons against them. It seems they have information on Tom Cruise that they are using as collateral to blackmail him into staying. And this leads us to Tom Cruise and his much talked about auditing. But while some are claiming that Tom wants to leave the establishment, an ex-Scientologist has claimed that with all the power bestowed to him by the church, he doesn't have any reason to. People say Tom doesn't leave because they have information on him or John. That's not the reason. The amount of power they receive from this church is like nothing in Hollywood. So why does Tom Cruise supposedly want to leave Scientology? And why is the church blackmailing him to stay? Let's get into it. For a while now, rumors have been swirling around Tom Cruise's possible departure from Scientology, with reports suggesting he ceased visits to the UK headquarters in East Grinstead, sparking speculation that he might have quit the religion. Cruz hasn't been spotted at the Scientology headquarters for roughly three years, as his filming commitments for Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1 have kept him primarily based in the UK, seen in locales like Birmingham and the Cotswolds. For years, Tom has been showering praises on the church, urging others to join, and he even became a top gun for them. And as a megastar celebrity, his involvement with the church made them more famous. I've been a uh, Scientologist for over 30 years, yeah. and um, it's something that, as, as you know, without it, uh, I wouldn't be where I am. Yeah. You know? So it's a beautiful religion. And Scientology, conceptualized by American author L. Ron Hubbard, has evolved into a global church with a unique set of beliefs and practices. Central to the Church of Scientology's doctrine is the notion that a person is a spiritual, immortal being, termed a thetan, temporarily residing in a physical body. Speculation around Tom's potential distancing from Scientology began in 2021, after years of his being a prominent figure for the religion. The recent revelation of his absence from one of their notable UK bases for the past three years has intensified discussions regarding his ties with the church. But has Tom Cruise really left the church? As a recognized ambassador for the church, Tom Cruise is one of the most recognizable members alongside celebrities such as John Travolta, Nancy Cartwright, and Elizabeth Moss. There have been claims that Tom's steadfast support for the church has earned him almost deity-like reverence from members, and some even claim that he loves the church and its benefits too much to leave. I mean, the guy even campaigned for Scientology to gain religious recognition in Europe. Reflecting on his religious affiliation, Tom previously shared insights into his perspective saying, if you're a Scientologist, you see life, things, the way they are, in all its glory, in all of its perplexity. And the more you know as a Scientologist, the more you become overwhelmed by it. While Tom does seem to love the religion, there is also the fact that he has lost most of his family due to the religion. And this might be one of the reasons why he supposedly wants to leave. Allegedly, it will be impossible for him to cut ties with Scientology since the church has audits from him that expose his darkest, deepest secrets. Due to the fact that Tom Cruise is highly prized by Scientology, organization head David Miscavige allegedly wanted to ensure he had Tom's audits and that Tom was also mated with a devout follower to guard against the actor's drift away from the group. Consequently, according to Maureen Orth's sources in What Katie Didn't Know, Cruise, without his knowledge or consent, was secretly videotaped via hidden cameras disguised in a lamp and a piece of furniture during his auditing sessions, which are akin to recorded confessions. 
Those tapes, as well as written reports of what occurred during the sessions, were then personally delivered to Miscavige at his gold base headquarters in Hemet, and according to several of Orth's sources, Miscavige made the contents of Cruz's and other high-profile celebrities' audits public while in social settings. He loved to dish about celebrities, says Tom DeVocht, Miscavige's former close aide, who went on to run Scientology's large operation in Clearwater, Florida, where Scientologists from all over the world go to study. According to DeVocht, Miscavige, often joined by his wife, Shelley, would whip out a bottle of Macallan scotch at 2, 3 in the morning in the officer's lounge, play backgammon, and read the crew's reports with a running commentary. He's probably got a lot of embarrassing material, DeVocht says, adding that Miscavige's comments were usually about Cruz's sex life. He would roll his eyes and say, geez, can you believe it? All the while, Miscavige claimed to be Cruz's best friend. There have been rumors over the years that the church was blackmailing Tom using his audits that show he is gay, but more speculations have claimed that Miscavige gossiped with his other associates about Tom claiming the actor was impotent and had no luck with women. Tom was gay. The stuff that got gossiped about were usually about Tom's impotence and also his height and the fact he has no luck with women. We don't know why Miss Cavage used to gossip about Tom a lot. Over the years, Tom has come to the aid of the church at crucial times, and that is supposedly another reason the church don't want to let him go. In 1986, when actress Mimi Rogers began dating Cruz and first introduced him to Scientology, the organization was at a critical juncture. Its founder and source of all its written scriptures, science fiction author L. Ron Hubbard, had died on January 24th that year. For a group so focused on one figure, the death of that person can be an extreme challenge. Would Scientology survive it? Allegedly complicating things was that the person exerting himself to push aside others and take over the reins of Scientology was a 25-year-old who was known only to a small minority of the movement. David Miscavige had joined the organization as a child and had quickly become a favorite of Hubbard, but for years he had amassed power in the rarefied upper minorities away from view of the vast majority of Scientologists. So, when Miss Cavage stepped forward at the Hollywood Palladium to announce Hubbard's death to the gathered crowd of Scientologists on January 27, 1986, many of the people who were in the audience that night had never even heard of him. Miss Cavage was still consolidating control of Scientology later that year when Mimi Rogers began bringing Tom Cruise around to a North Hollywood Scientology satellite office. Cruz was already a movie star, with films like Risky Business and All the Right Moves under his belt, and the first Top Gun had hit theaters that summer. Back in 1955, Hubbard had announced Project Celebrity knowing that attracting celebrities might help the organization seem more mainstream. There had been some victories for Project Celebrity since then, with John Travolta and Kirstie Alley being among the most well-known brought into the church. But Mimi Rogers outdid everyone by bringing in a star of Cruz's stature, marrying him on Dianetics Day 1987 and right when Scientology was on shaky ground following the death of Hubbard. After joining the church, Cruz traveled to Missouri to help Scientology hold a grand opening for a new headquarters for one of its numerous front groups, Applied Scholastics, which works to get L. Ron Hubbard's material into public schools. He continued to grow into the role of highly visible Scientology ambassador, and in September 2004, he made his appearance at the grand opening of a new Scientology ideal org in Madrid, Spain. Cruz was invited to help Miss Cavage open the new Madrid building, and he even gave a brief speech in Spanish. Gracias. Voy a intentar hablaros en español. It was also at this event that Cruz reportedly told Miss Cavage that he was having some trouble finding a suitable new girlfriend. Allegedly, Miss Cavage was not only thrilled with how close he had gotten with Cruz, but also how dedicated the actor had become that he was willing to be the public face of Scientology. So he rewarded Cruz by giving him special recognition at the annual gala held in England each October, when a few exemplary church members are bestowed freedom medals. For Cruz, Miss Cavage made a special special showing, with a 30-minute video extolling Cruz's qualities, which included a nine-minute interview with the actor talking about the privilege of being a Scientologist. At the conclusion of the video, Miscavige gave Cruz the unique, larger medallion he'd had made just for him, the Freedom Medal of Valor. As seen previously, a former Scientologist named Leah Remini claimed with all the power the church has given Tom, he would never think of leaving the church because of all that he is gaining from it. The amount of power they receive from this church is like nothing in Hollywood. It is like nothing. 
there is no reason for them to leave. Tom holds so much value for the church, and the church also seems to be giving him the power he needs, meaning he's an incredibly important symbol for the church. There are plenty of secretive groups, religions, and cults, but there is only one Scientology. Why? Because of Tom Cruise. He is Scientology as far as most of the public is concerned. And if he were to leave, would they allow him? I doubt Scientology could survive it. That's how important he is to it. A fan on X previously Twitter said, if Tom Cruise really leaves Scientology to win his family back, he'll show he's more of a man than we ever really thought. Another said, I'm patiently waiting for the day Tom Cruise leaves Scientology. My baby is a victim. So what are your thoughts on Tom Cruise leaving Scientology and being blackmailed into staying? Tell us in the comment section. Remember, this video is based on speculation and opinions. And if you enjoyed this content, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting updates. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.